Sorry. Sorry. Let's start again. I think <laughs> I know what it was. I think it was... Why do you think it is? I think I remember the question. Why do you think it is that there was so few channels, That's so it. few ways of seeing mountain biking, and yet there seem, seemingly their mountain biking was on big channels, X Games. Um, we were talking about Mountain Bike Britain. Mm. Like, there are only four channels, mm. and you were on one of them on TV. Why? Mm. Why then? Well, I get. I guess, like... Now you've got so much social social media, um, you know, there's so many avenues and YouTube and stuff to watch stuff on. Uh, obviously, it's all over that. Um, I think back, you know, back then, like channels like Channel 4 and um, I think X Games is on like ESPN2 or something in the States. States is a bit better than the UK for it, I guess, like looking for different sports to, you know, to film and stuff. But um, I think I think it literally comes down to who's in the job at the time because um, um, a few few years later after that, two thousand and two, I had a bad injury, um, uh, injured my ankle really badly, and I got the opportunity to uh, go and do the presenting and the commentary for the BBC at the World Championships, and it went really well. Um, and the the guy that was the pr- producer for it, he did a lot of boxing in the UK for the BBC, but he thought the mountain bike, and especially the four cross, was they didn't even know what four cross was. They were supposed to film the cross country, and then the cross country was on the wrong day for the BBC grandstand, so they ended up doing the downhill, and that's how I. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'd, I'd actually made the GB team that year. Um, but then I couldn't race because I hurt uh, my foot. Um, so I went with the BBC to Capron to do the commentary and the, help them present it. And they didn't know how any of the, the riders were. So I went around and told them who to interview and that kind of stuff. And I actually really enjoyed doing all that. Again, I was a bit nervous because I'd never done commentary in my life. and didn't know what to say or anything. <laughs> but luckily I'm into bikes or so winged it. And... Um, <laughs> And it was it was really really enjoyed that, and I was hoping it might turn into something. You know, later on, um, I did it with Graham Bell, the, the skiing guy. Oh, yeah. And he yeah, he yeah. was super helpful, and um, he was like, you know, you, you, you're doing all right at this. You might be able to do something with it. Anyway, I did it a few more times. I think I did Worlds a couple of years, and then I did World. I think I did BBC Scotland for World Championships in Scotland, um, and then. I think it was Olympic year and the, the producer just rang me up even though he loved it and he just said, look, we're not doing it this year because there's no budget for the, because uh, it's all going on the Olympics. Mm, right. And um, and he said, it, I said, is it because of the views are not very big or, you know, the, the viewing numbers? Are, he said, no, the viewing numbers are fine. Um, he said, it's literally just, you know, the budget for the Olympic year and then, and then it just never happened again. Right. And I don't know whether he'd left or, you know, and then somebody else d- likes doing another sport, so they try something mm. else. Yeah. Mm. Well, I mean, it wasn't the only... You've actually got the own... You've probably got the most famous bit of mountain bike commentary you've been involved in. <laughs> you know what I mean? It wasn't the only time that you did commentary, was it? No. That was um, 02, though. So, so this was 02. Did you go back to racing after that, or was this... So, no. Oh, so, start of 02... Um, I. Hey man, what an episode that was! You did amazing in it, and so did you. You shone like a star. You shone like a moon. I shone like a focus spring deal. Oh, yeah, beautiful good. transition! Right, I've got a question for you, David, to kick this final advert off. Yeah, what would you do with up to four hundred euros? Yeah, if you got it back when buying a bike. Ooh, I could. Stay in the bike shop and spend my 400 euros on accessories. Good point. Support your local bike shop. Great point. I could take the 400 euros and go to another shop close by, maybe buy 400 euros of pasta, maybe go to the euro store, get 400 euros and just, that's Christmas done for eternity. Just keep handing them out Lottery tickets. Yeah, beans. Tires. Um, Chamois cream. A new pet. A new pet. (laughs) Perhaps a water dragon or an iguana. (laughs) Lovely idea. Well, Focus are actually making that question a reality. Nice. Because with the Focus Spring deals, Mm -hmm. you can grab up to €400 back when buying a new bike. If you want to find out more, check out the terms and conditions and all of the details 
in the link. We're going to put that below and I'm also going to read it out. Please. Okay, you ready for me to read it out? Yes, I'm This is old school, isn't it? Reading out links. Yeah, anticipation. I'm going to do it anyway. Please do I'm it. I'm doing it. I want the deal. Ride dot focus dot bikes forward slash spring deals TRC. Ooh, nice. So that is ride dot focus dot bikes forward slash spring deals TRC. And let us know in the comments what you would do with 400 euros. Best answer wins a signed Odub hat. Oh, I like it. Good. All I've right. got hats. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm good okay. for that. Okay. Hey, can we also put something up here that you can click yep. on for the next episode? How about we put a subscribe up there in the middle? Yeah, lovely. We're going to put a video we think that our uh, lovely companionship yep. will love yep. on your face. On oh, my face? Yeah. So and they on can't my, see me now. Gone. And on my face, another video that we think people will love. And thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please hit like and subscribe. You guys are the best. Peace and love.